In this illustration, we'll discuss about the sliding of a block on a conveyor belt. Here we are given that a block of mass m is projected horizontally on a conveyor belt of length l on two small rollers, which is moving at a speed v. We are required to find the speed at which the block is projected so that the heat dissipated against friction will be maximum, and we are also required to find this maximum heat. In solution, if we draw the pictures, so these are the two rollers on which a conveyor belt is moving, and the belt is given of length L, which is moving say in this direction at a speed v. Here, if we wish to project a block so that the heat dissipated would be maximum, that block we must throw from this point toward right, and say. The speed with which we are required to throw it is v naught. Then it should be such that when it is moving, it will experience a friction mu mg in backward direction, which will retard the block. And it should be such that it should not fall on the other side. So when the block reaches over here, its final speed should be zero, so that due to friction, it will start returning back. So here we can directly write by work energy theorem. Initial kinetic energy provided to block is half m v naught square minus work done by friction on block and going from first roller to second roller is mu m g l. Finally, it should be zero, which gives us the value of v naught, which is root two mu g l. There's one answer for the problem. That is the speed with which the block is projected. So that the heat dissipated will be maximum. Now we are also required to find this maximum heat, so we can calculate the total work done by friction till the block will come to rest on the bell. Here, when it reaches here due to friction, again it will start moving toward left. And say with respect to ground, it travels a distance l1, and where we can say the block is moving with the same speed v. So from this point onward. The block will be at rest on belt, and no further work done by friction will be there. So in this situation, first we can find out the the distance L one. Here we can write L one is such that we use mu m g L one as equals to half m v square. The block starts moving with the speed v, and from this point it was starting with zero speed. So here the value of L one we are getting is v square divided by two mu g. Here m gets cancelled out, and from this point we can also calculate the times taken by block from roller one to two, and then from roller two to this position. Say if we calculate time t one, which is We can write if T one is time in motion of block from ruler one to two, then value of T one we can write as V naught divided by mu g as the retardation was mu g, and finally it is coming to rest. Similarly, we can write if T two is time in motion of block from roller two to speed v, that is a distance l one. Then this time T two, we can write as v upon mu g, as from zero speed to v, it is accelerating due to The same friction mu mg. Now onward, as we have got the time, so we can calculate the distance travelled by the belt in time t1, which is uh, v t1, and uh, in reverse path also the distance travelled by belt is v t2. So here we can calculate the total work done by friction in Whole time of motion that can be written as work done or heat. It is in first part the friction as mu mg multiplied by the distance travelled by the block 
with respect to belt as belt is moving toward left with the speed v and block has traveled a distance l so this must be l plus v t1 so this will be v multiplied by v naught by mu g plus in second part again the friction is mu mg and the distance traveled by the block with respect to belt here can be written as v t2 minus l1 so this v multiplied by v by mu g minus l1 so if we simplify this it will give us uh, mu mg multiplied by here this value of v naught we can substitute as root 2 mu g l so this will give us l plus v multiplied by root of 2 mu g l divided by mu g plus uh, here it is v square by mu g so this can be written as v square by mu g minus the value of uh, l1 we have calculated as v square by 2 mu g on further simplifying we can take lcm as mu g mu g gets cancelled out this will be m by 2 multiplied by this will be twice of uh, v root 2 mu g l plus 2 mu g l plus v square and uh, you can also combine these terms as m by 2 multiplied by v plus uh, root of 2 mu g l whole square that is the total heat dissipated and the final result of this problem.